We're gonna make our ascent up 259B. I've never been up here. Uh, oh, looks like we got some stay off mine ladders and deadly gases and lots of fun stuff. All right. Well, we're gonna head up, head up, head up the top of the mountains here, and we'll see up at the mine. So before I leave, a, uh, get a comment, uh, can I take my car up there? I wouldn't. Uh, pick up four, high clearance, four wheel drive definitely, but that's gonna take a while, but a lot of rock. By the way, uh, I forgot to mention, when we, we are gonna get, do, be doing a Patreon giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned, and we also appreciate our subscribers. All you gotta do is be subscribed, and leave a comment next video we'll do a random comment selector and we're giving away a nice Lynx Creek pay dirt bag Ugh. from AMB prospecting like I said we love our subscribers our patreon and we're doing a giveaway on both the end of the video here so Guys, I'm not sure how much farther it is, but we came all the way from down and below down there already. And then we just encountered our first gate to go through. We're gonna get through this and close it behind us. But I'm not sure if we gotta go. It looks like the road continues to the back of the mountains, back off that way, but it's a little mine up there. I'm not sure. I see roads all the way at the top of those mountains. I don't know if we're going all the way clear across. You see way up past this ridge here that mountain I zoom in on it there's roads going all the way up that far mountain up there a couple miles out so well we better get going okay it looks like we're getting closer to the mine up here there's a somebody drove a truck way up there all the way up in here let's get up there and check it out Oh, we're almost up to the main mine. Look how far up we've come. There's the Crown King Road way down there. Beautiful. I've never, like I said, I've never been all the way up here. I've been up and down that road handfuls of times going to Crown King. and But came across some old stuff here, timbering and equipment right before the mine. Got some thick steel, old square head bolts. A neat looking rock old timbering looks like old uh, maybe oak uh, some kind of little shoot that's cool very neat history guys Look at the old flywheel. It's probably for the old tramway. Look at that, guys. Very cool. It's been there and there since, I think they left this about 1923. All right, let's get up to the main mine up there. Now, I did some research, we'll go, we'll share with you, we'll share some photos as well. Middleton was a uh, the old steam train, that's what this was, originally a steam train uh, railroad that went up to Crown King. This was the original way to Crown King, how you got it way up, up to the town there. And it wasn't until they put the steam railroad down there, they made it a road. And they said back in the 20s, I think, they got an estimated... Uh, like three million two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars in valuables, which what would that be today? Like eighty, a hundred million dollars. But it still wasn't what they thought. 
the DeSoto mine, they had uh, much larger hopes, but still incredible. All right, let's get up there. Met a nice old couple from Mayer, and they're up here filling a water, running a water pump to give wildlife water, which is really nice. It's the only thing keeping them alive this year. We've had such little rain. Like I said, it's amazing. We're actually going to be dry washing late into the year when it cools off. I know it's an old, I don't know if it's an old truck or mangled up down there, fell off the mountain. So they said they went in the mine over a thousand feet, that there was a, a rattlesnake just inside, but <laughs> that's kind of spooked me out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go check out the mine over here. Feel the nice cool air coming out of the hill and... Uh, we're looking around checking out the rocks I definitely don't want to go detecting around this there's a lot of a lot of bullet casings all over the place here's some kind of foundation over here it almost looks like blasting room or whatever when they have the or it could have just been like I said a foundation for something but down at Middleton they had a tramway we'll put a picture up uh, the old tramway that came all the way up to the top of this mountain and here's the mine over here the DeSoto mine Now, if I'm going to go in, I've got to go back and get my, I've got a light. I didn't bring my really bright one, which I, I wish I would have, but. Oh, wow, you can feel that cold air rushing out of there. That feels amazing. It's too bad in the entrance, a lot of it had caved in right on this part or they closed it off, but you should feel this cold. It's about 100 degrees outside here, but that air coming out of there is about 30, 40 degrees. It feels great. All right, let me go grab my light, and we'll uh, peek on the inside there. So you don't want to go in? Mm -hmm. You can always watch the video, right? Yes. Okay. So before I get anywhere near there, I said they saw a rattlesnake just inside this morning, so... I wish I would have brought my much brighter light. Hard hat light, but... I'm going to go in where it's nice and cool. I haven't worn those in a while, huh? Right. Where was the snake seen at? Out here? Right where you're at. What? I think you went down by the white pipe on the inside to the right. Ah. Uh, Who knows where it's at now? Yeah. I don't have my glasses, so I can't see as good as I want. No, usually it's pretty okay because they get a little sluggish inside. It's so cold. Oh, God. We ran over her bowl. Uh -oh. Okay, this is looking into DeSoto Mine. They said they saw a rattlesnake earlier today right over here. Uh, I don't have my regular glasses, only my sun prescription sunglasses, so I... Looks like there's water right away too, so we're not gonna be able to go that deep in there, but you gotta feel this natural air conditioning, guys. Carefully looking for snakes in here, but although it's so cold, I don't know if they'd be able to move very well, but Guys, when you go in mines, you always have to be careful. There's straight down shafts. 
in a lot of the mines. Anyway, there's a good look. I don't have any boots on, so we're gonna head back out, look at some more old relics and things, break out the detector. Looks like they're pumping water. This clean, cold water out of the mine here, maybe for the livestock. So we found a trail. We were pretty high up, and that's where we're at down there at the mine entrance, way down there. We're at the top of the mountain now. And looking down at Middleton, we'll run down there and get a view looking up here to where we're at. <laughs> and you can see where the tramway used to come up and down. And uh, looking down in that area, 1903, what's that say, hon? So look at the Middleton Depot a few days after it was completed in 1903. Note the turntable and the railroad trestle in the right center of the photograph. That's right down in there. Really cool. And then also from looking up, I think down there through the canyon there, the next one shows uh, the tramway that they would run the floor. Now here's a look. Sorry about the wind up here, guys. But here, there's a shadow from the monster or something right there. There, shadowed all together. What are these ones? So there's, there's a tramway going all the way down towards the, where the, you see the road down there, which was the original train bed. And here's a picture around the 19, 1903, 1920. So what's this? This one here on the left is silhouetted. It says silhouetted against the purple sky of sunrise. The weather tramway towers still climb the slope toward the DeSoto mine. Too bad all that's gone. I don't... Oh, yeah. What's that? Over? And this here on the right is with Crazy Basin far in the distance. The gray splintered tramway towers descend McKinley Peak as they have done for the past 80 years. Hmm. The photograph shows the lower tramway terminal of the DeSoto Mine in Middleton. The railway spur ran along the far side of the structure and a series of ore chutes directed the ore into railroad, railroad cars which waited beneath. Before we head down the mountain and go down to Middleton and take a look, I don't know why the, maybe we'll see parts of the tramway from down there because it's further hidden down in that slopes there, but there's mines all over up here. And then we went to the back side of the hill, almost looking towards Mayer. Arizona and there's mines all over back in there to explore so guys if you want to have an ATV or a four-wheel drive and want to there's even more up there <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to explore up here guys the DeSoto mine okay let's uh let's head down the hill and get a view from down there looking up here just noticed off the side of the road I'm glad Amy's uh pointed this out those old timbers from night that erected about 1903 and I think I found some of the original tramway cable. So that was probably one of those tramway deals that we saw in the photograph. It's all fallen down now. And uh, beautiful piece of history, guys. You see this juniper is just shaggy bark juniper has overgrown the the ties there, but really neat stuff. Think about all the valuables that have run up and down this cable all the way well over a mile down this mountain to the road down there. Saw some more stuff along the side of the road out here. Been sitting out here. It's amazing. 1903 goes back 117 years now. Uh. Ducks! 
Out in the middle of the desert, there's ducks. They found the water. <laughs> They're getting in duck formation. Oh, it's synchronized duck swimming. Oh, nice. Made it down to Middleton. You can see the mine we were at way up in there. And zoom in a little bit up there. That's where we were at. Now we're way down here. And if you look, there's an old platform of some kind right there. I wonder if that's one of, where one of the tramway parts were attached to it. But imagine a tramway going up and down all day with ore buckets coming down to here and a steam train roaring by Middleton. We'll throw up another picture of Middleton right now. That's this area right here. Alright guys, we're back home and it's time to do our Patreon giveaway. Don't don't forget, leave a comment. These are really neat. Uh, look at that. I can see gold popping out everywhere. <laughs> so, from A&B Prospecting in Prescott Valley. And it's really neat. It's got the weight of everything right here on a little card on the back. Pretty neat. So, alright. So, leave a comment from this video. We'll give you... Uh, subscribers one of these on the next video and as of right now it's time for our by right now it's bi-monthly for how many we've got because half the money goes to from the patreon to there so that's about uh, we'll get it down to every month here hopefully it'd be nice like every week eventually but okay so everyone has a number from patreon I have the beautiful Amy here we're getting ready to take her out to dinner so looking good Take that up, take it up really, really good. All right, whoa, whoa, I just need one. There. Actually, you go ahead and pick in there. And good luck. What number we got? Yep. Number one? It's Adam Lomas. One. That's our newest, uh, latest Patreon there. Per okay, great. And then, uh... All you guys are awesome, all you prospect or prospectors, all you subscribers are awesome. So Adam Lomas, please give us an email uh, and we will send you, I'll send you a message and get, get this awesome bag of pay off to you. Awesome. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.